Anointing changes things Moments of recovery Celebrate Jesus with Recovery TV You are welcome to your moment of recovery on Recovery TV And this thing, you there here, come, come and be, come and be a witness Because, you know, I was uh, looking at uh, uh, the man that traveled to Imo State He's not around Okay what I said now, because I, by the grace of God, you stood here, you gave this testimony. And that minister, one day, he came here, he testified. So, uh, lately, my mind again went to you. What I said, maybe I added some, uh, some sweets, some bon vita. <laughs> Not uh, at all. Is that correct? It's exactly what happened. The woman saw a man. Very tall with very white garment are you understanding glittering so yes when he saw the man uh, even he was afraid and uh, you know we you know what, what uh, uh, please can you uh, okay yes. yeah you know the excitement there why did that woman not take it as just a dream why did she act and went to that place? That is one thing that... The Spirit of God. Eh? The Spirit of God. That's exactly what baffles me now. She got up. It's God. Eh? But she it's knew, God. She knew it was a trance, not so? Yes. And she went to Jueleba and the, the angel knows of Jueleba. Mm. He knows. So he went there. As he was going, he saw people gathered. He said... Ah. Let me peep in and see what they are gathering for. So he peeped in and saw her daughter. People were watching. And a malam, now listen, a malam. Muslim, <laughs> saw that man, that tall man, and told the woman, the man brought her here and the man has left. Are you understanding? Okay. For you to know, listen, for you to know that that this allow me use this word, this church. Let me use the word this church. Sure. Is it's not human church. It's the church of the living God. Amen. You were in the night vigil. Was that correct? Was it yes, night vigil where that night? It was uh, night vigil or something? Uh, night vigil, that is for the uh, for the warriors on Wednesday, and he said that woman it came wasn't in. on Friday. The woman came in there, the woman came there crying, very sober. So, the, the pastor prayed and said, The God of Edmond, wherever this child is, go and fetch her on Sunday that the child must be seen. Are you hearing now? Are you hearing this? That is the area I did not understand. Sorry, Mrs. Liv, where you were not here on uh, maybe Friday or thereabout, when one sister gave a fantastic testimony. Wow. He said when something lost in their place of work, they began to accuse her that she is the one. And he said, no, I'm a child of God. All of us are children of God. Okay, we are going to swear. Uh. We, are going to, we are going to drink oil. <laughs> then the sister said, we don't drink oil. And, uh, he said, fellowship. but then you are the one. Uh, indeed, from away, I make water. I want to thank God for what he did for me in this month of June. In my place of work, something happened on Wednesday. My madam was looking for something. And I was the only one that saw her when she bought that thing. And that thing worth 150000 So she just came to me on Thursday and said, where is that thing I gave to you? I told her, you didn't give it to me. She said, I gave it to you. I said, you didn't give it to me. So after much argument, she left. I thought it was just over. On Friday again, she walked to me and said, I'm still looking for that necklace that I gave it to you. I said, you did not give it to me. So she said she wants to go and bring anointing oil and the rest of them so that it will leak. Then I told her, I don't believe in that. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't get that. 
you want to go and get what? Uh, she will get a pastor and she bring this olive oil for us to lick that whoever took her necklace will either run mad or whatever. Then I told her, I don't believe in that, but I believe in prayer. She said, but you are a Christian. I said, I don't believe in anointing oil. Then she said, if I don't lick the anointing oil or the olive oil, I was the one that took it. I said, I am not the one. Hold on, hold on. You see now, we learn from testimonies. You get the point now. You see, the, this fellow believes that, anoint, that olive oil he bought from the market that it is, it, is, it is God or something. Am I correct? Can you help me with a word? I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to borrow a word. It is, that is, he believes that more than God. Is that correct? Yes. He believes that oil more than God. See, that's what I'm telling you, that these uh, pastors, these private pastors, that's why they don't come here. They need to come here and get the word, but you will see them. They have destroyed people. And that woman believes in that oil more than the Lord. Not only her, many are like that. You see, it's people that package them and put them in that condition. You see? And that, that oil was sold by a sinner. And in the Bible, people who went to buy that sort of oil in the market, Jesus rejected them. And shut the door. They were tapping at the door. He wouldn't open for them. Because they went to the market. Of sinners. To buy creature. To invoke God. And left the word of God alone. How, how did it end up? So she insisted. I said I will not do that. I let us pray. After all we are five here. And we all believe in God. That four of you worship in the same place. It's only me that worship separately. So let us pray. She said, then they are going to pray individually. I said, no problem. So they started praying. After they finished, I was the last to pray. Then I just said, the Lord will deliver the island of the innocent. Then she said, by the pureness of their hands. I said, amen. So she said, pray. Then I started praying. I said, Father, in the time of Elisha, you, you floated iron out of water. You were quoting the word of God. Yes, sir. I say, at the time of Saint Edmund, those of clothes floated out of water. And I believe. Yeah, I mean somebody. Yeah, I mean somebody. Look at that. Are you understanding? Uh, now, this is one of those things we are just talking this night. Are you understanding? This is a witness. Did it happen or not? Uh -huh. Maybe one day we shall go to mortuary and begin to raise up people there. They begin to come out. Somebody shout Jesus in this house! <laughs> all right, all right, man, all right. My God, you, you said in the days of St. Edmund. I said in the days, in the dispensation of St. Edmund, which is now, you floated three bills of clothes. That this bracelet, wherever it is, this is the period of restoration, and Edmund is on the pulpit. I know that the God that has been restoring things is going to restore this. Whoever is having it will find it. Then I, they said, Amen. She opened her eyes and asked me, What sort of prayer is that? I said, You said we should pray. I've prayed. So we all left. Got into Saturday. We don't go to work on Saturday. On Sunday, we were here. And when the man of God was praying for the newcomers, he, he pointed at a guy. He said, they always accuse you of things he did not do. And as he was praying, I was sitting down there. I was connecting. I said, ah, this, is my, this prayer is for me. Oh, that whoever is having that bracelet, and this woman just want to label this on my head. Father, as I'm praying for this guy, I connect myself to it. I know that on Monday, I am going to hear good news. And getting to Monday, she couldn't come to tell me. The lady that stays with her in the house came and said, Ah, Mrs. Jude, Madam, I found that, you know, but she's not both to tell you. Don't ask her so that she will not know I told you. I said, Okay. Yesterday, I was expecting her to tell me. She did not tell me. And today is Wednesday, and this is the very day she bought it. Then I walked up to her. I said, Madam, we prayed on Friday, and I know that my God is not a God of delay. I know he might have answered. Have you found the bracelet? She said, let's forget about it. I just want to thank God because this almighty God did something. I said, may you stay behind me as all in Jesus' name. 
<laughs> God of heaven. Oh, religion. Oh, religion is bad. Oh, religion. Hey! Look at that. <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name. Any false accusation against you or against anybody here, the Lord shall expose them. In the name of Jesus. Then you are the one. Okay. Then after you, you understand me. Yes. Then after that, I don't know how they began to pray. Where did that woman didn't come today? That's the problem here. Is For where? The, how is you know she say the, come? Is she in the house? Please come forward. Eh? For where? For upstairs. Please. Are, are you understanding? All right. It's coming. All right. Because that area couldn't say it well. <laughs> so that's why I began to look for her now. They said they are going to pray. Have they seen prayer? They prayed and the sister prayed. Yes. Somebody shout, they prayed. They prayed. And then she prayed. And she prayed. Oh. Wow. I tell we were so Please, excited. Let's give Jesus a clap of prayer. Let's give Jesus are a you clap understanding? Of prayer. Are you understanding now? Yes. Okay, look at this now. That prayer you prayed, you know, when I, I took the prayer to the house, I, will, I began to consider it. That, that prayer was fantastic. God proved himself. Sure. What, because there are some people who are not here so that they can learn to pray. How did you pray? Mm. Because they prayed and you prayed. Yes, yeah, so. How did you pray your own? Mm. And you Lord. know, after they prayed, yes, sir. then her prayer manifested. Yes, sir. The thing they were looking for, the madam saw it in her, in her place. In her, house. in her own house. Yes, sir. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Somebody told her that madam have seen that thing. Hmm. That he was waiting for the madam to say she was ashamed. Sees. So when the madam asked her now, when he asked the madam, ah, that thing now, well, he, he said, let's forget about it. Let's, let's forget about that one. Prayer, past prayer. <laughs> say, let's forget about it. She was ashamed. How did you pray? Praise the Lord. My name is Lori Ndife from Oweya Makewater. And I live at number 15 at Berger Street. It happened two weeks ago on Wednesday. Somebody came in to the place where I work and she brought some jewelry. Since I don't do jewelry, I did not look at them. I never know that my madam bought the jewelry. Got into on, on Thursday, she just came to me and said, Mrs. Indife, where is the jewelry I gave to you? I said, no, you didn't give it to me. She said, I was the one. I said, you didn't give it to me. I thought she was just joking. She left. On Friday, again, she came. That have you found my jewelry? I gave it to you. I'm sure I gave it to you. I said, you didn't give it to me. So in the course of some argument, she said, we are going, she will call a pastor. I said, you do that. Later, she said, no, she have an oil that we are going to leak the oil. I told her, I don't believe in that. She said, but you are a Christian. I said, I don't believe in oil, that, but I believe in prayer. Do you know, she, do you know, that's why, in fact, that's the area I got and I remembered this thing. This is your testimony. Do you know, this oil, they leak. Many of them don't know the meaning. They do not know. Were you here the day we showed on the screen where a, a man, a one general overseer, carried a pastor who told him to help him that his church is not growing? He said, I will help you, but you must have the heart. And he asked the man to bring 350,000 so that uh, that could help him and everything, that he cannot regret that money. Then wait. He said, You were around. Where did the man take the pastor to? They went to the sea. It's not Babbage? Yes, sir. And there, when they got there, and uh, the general overseer stood by the left, he was there, and uh, they called uh, somebody who came out. The mermaid of the water. Mermaid yes, sir. came out. Uh, do you remember that story? What mermaid gave, uh, what mermaid gave uh, uh, the, 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 the man, the pastor? Do you remember? It was oil. And what again? And cross. Okay. And oil and cross. I remember the oil because I was just coming in when the footage was being shown. All right. Then uh, oil and uh, cross. cross. Sure. And what? Ring. Oh, I didn't quite get that. Is that, is that right? Oil and ring. Oh, really? Ring. ring as well? Yeah. Is that correct? 
<laughs> I didn't get that. Maybe they're going to wait. Oh, that's wedding. You know, it's mermaid. You understand me? Sure. So it's a female that's demon. That's the covenant. Yeah, the covenant. Yes, the agreement. That's true. Yeah, okay, let her finish her something. All right. So I told her I don't believe in oil. So she said, okay, you say it's prayer. We are going to pray. Since we are five here, they are going to start from them. The four of them worship in the same place. I don't want to name that place. So the first person prayed. The second one prayed. The third. So it came to my turn. I just said, in Jesus' name. They were all looking at me. Then I said, in the book of Second Kings 6, 6, that in the time of Elijah, an iron was floated. In the time of St. Edmund, three bills of clothes were floated. Sure, sure. Is that correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. How did you end the prayer? Then I said, St. Edmund is on the pulpit again, talking restoration. God of restoration, restore her beat. Oh, oh, is it kept... this month? Yes. Of restoration? Yes. Then you reminded God yes. that I'm on the pulpit yes. and I'm preaching restoration. Yes. on Sunday we came to the fellowship here and the man of God was praying for an invite about accusation. I was sitting down there and I just connected. I said I was accused of something. I'm taking it lightly but I know that God will do something. Brethren, immediately we finished from here. I got home. They closed in their fellowship around 11. According to the person, they say immediately she got home, she was restless. That she began to scatter everywhere. And they were asking her, what are you looking for? She said she's looking for something. Until she found that yeah, jewelry, that was when she got her piece. And I said, Father, thank you for it. So when we went to the work on Monday, I was in my class and somebody walked in. He just said, don't say I told you. She had found her jewelry, but she will not tell you. I said, eh? I was, immediately she left me, I just put my head on my desk. I said, Father, thank you for vindicating me, for rolling away this shame. Because assuming, and there's one thing, uh, there's a day I went to school, I got a ministration that I should stop carrying bag. So I stopped carrying bag, if I'm going, I'll just pick a pause. So I was saying, assuming I was carrying bag, they might have picked this, their jewelry and put in my bag. 
and say I was the one that stole it. I just want to thank this almighty God for this period of restoration. And I want to thank him because I know there are still more things you want to do. And if you have not started, maybe you did not fast or you are not coming to the program. I never missed a day. No matter how tired I was, uh, the Lord always give me the strength. I always come here. And I thank him for honoring the prayers of the man of God. Because I believe it was that anointing of that Sunday that went to trouble that woman. That took away her peace and she began to look for it. Hold on, hold on. What have you to tell somebody? Because some are missing some days. They don't know what they miss. They don't know. Do you have any message for somebody here? Yes, sir. Come on. What now. I want to tell some of, some of us is to look at the time they come back to their houses or the time we close to go and make something. At times when I come back, I will go to my house, maybe six thirty. Before I would, I would just gather my children. At times they might have come. I will come. I don't mind the time I'm coming. I don't mind whether I'm late or not. But I always meet before I come. I'll meet them praying. Before the man of God went to the pulpit, I'm already here. So I want to tell us, don't look at the time you close from your work or the time you are closing for your place of business. Just be here because the Lord still has something for somebody. And I believe that my own is not over because there are still remaining five days. And these five days, I want all of us to testify. As I am testifying with them. God bless you, God bless you. Let me somebody. You see, to be honest with you, let, let, let me ask a question. I asked this question yesterday, maybe uh, during the uh, restoration night, Friday night. Let me ask, how many of us want a June like this to come again? This type of June. Yes. Eh? All right. But in the name of Jesus, I prophesy that the June of next year, by the grace of God, shall be better than this. I pray that you should be alive to witness it. Anybody who shouts that amen shall be alive to witness it. Amen, somebody. So you may be seated. You may be seated. You see what I'm saying? You see, if we, listen, if we are sharing the word of God, it has to be proved whether it's the word of God or not. This is the truth. How can over 80 over 80 bells of clothes sank into the sea that testimony will never have an end it is not a testimony with full stop no full stop there and the woman who knew that her goods were in the sea and was amazed that the carrier of those goods never informed her he was running for his life because it was a lot of people's money in the sea. But because God wants us to glorify him in the church, she picked up this woman's phone after a lot of uh, 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 calls on the seventh day that the thing happened. And the woman refused to accept that her goods were lost. She refused. She challenged God. She told God, <laughs> my goods cannot be lost. This is the truth. Because when I introduced to them Recovery TV Partnership, I told them clearly that it's full of miracles. That's where your financial history will change. They didn't understand. How can they understand now? You even do you understand you hearing it, but I said it the financial history will change, and God began to surprise them, release scholarship, release things. People began to this, you know, them except you don't know them. And this woman said to God, Her goods will not be. Oh my God. 
and the Lord listened to her. This is the excitement there. There are many people talking at the same time. But God listening to her. Are you understanding? Many, there are thousands of people speaking different things to God. But God listening to her. And again, the word surprised me, because I didn't know to that extent, the day we were viewing the footage, the woman, there were two people. Oh, oh, look at your screen. That's the C on your screen. Can you see that? That's the C. Okay. That's the C. That's the C. The woman that gave her money to purchase her own bell for her. When God will respond to her, somebody shout, in this church. In this church. So I know why I'm using that. I want to make some differentiation a little bit. Are you understanding? So, the Lord brought out her own bell, brought out the sister's bell, and the, the two sisters are in the church. Others, their own is in the water till next tomorrow. Except that sea will dry before they will see it. I, I don't... I, I don't understand that. Except maybe there's some special divers or something that some manual effort. This tree floated. If you if you put this box, I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing. If you put this box into the water, will it sink or not? Or float? It will sink. Have you ever been able to carry weight? weight of a uh, bell of clothes they use forklift to do that one person can carry this the, the listen that is why god answered that sister's prayer i'm sure it's part of it as part of the reason the lord before whom we stand he made the water he made everything he commanded. I don't think the Lord will just waste uh, uh, just uh, labor and struggle to go into the water and begin to carry it out. No. He commanded. <laughs> and the bells of cloth belonging to her and to that sister came out and left the other parachurch inside the water. They are there. And but they have long time sold their own. Maybe they have gone to market many, many times. Think about that. If not God that did it, can I tell you what's happening in the place where that sister is walking now? That woman is afraid of the sister. You don't joke with anyone. You don't mess around with that kind of person that believes in this God I'm talking about. I'm not the only one talking about God. Everybody's talking of God. Everybody, including Habalists. Especially Habalists today that are carrying the Bible. God vindicated his word to say, I did this. I did this miracle. I did it. I will do again. again. Now, the sisters challenge everybody here. He said there are yet five days. I don't know. Is it five days remaining? Yes. Okay. Rise up and say what you need in those five days. Oh. I want you to say to Almighty God, say, God Almighty, if this man that carry microphone and jump up and down, yes. if this man, if, if you know him, if you know this man, who carry small uh, recorder? Carry microphone. Jump up and down. If you know him, I want an evidence of this, 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 that in five days. Listen. Are you ready to pray? 
what do you need in five days number five stands for two things chief cornerstone and the grace the grace of god is about to visit somebody he will do it by his grace tell god what you need in these five days pray in jesus mighty name prayer hello do you know you can access our messages testimony and prayers on your mobile devices always log into recoverychurch.tv connect to any of our recovery services and our live streaming the church worldwide international preaching the gospel of our lord jesus christ always log into www.recoverychurch.tv and you will surely be blessed moment of recovery